Good morning ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for clicking that button and joining me for today's video. Hope it all well. So ladies and gents, I've been a very, very lucky guy this weekend. I have been invited down to a friend's private location. Um, he does have a permission that he's allowed to use as well as his son-in-law, Brandon, just at the back here. I will introduce you in a second, but this is a two day wild camp bushcraft adventure. Uh, camp is already busy. We've been here a couple of hours and camp set up as you will see in a second. We've already got some wood crafting going on at the camp and I've already had my first cheeky whiskey. Uh, che I should say cheeky Irish coffee, not just a whiskey, not yet. A bit early for that yet, innit? <laughs> but um, yeah, so camp is set up. I'm now going to take you around the camp, show you the setups and I'll introduce you to the two gents I'm camping with this weekend. So, all right then, ladies and gents, let's walk into the camp. Absolutely spectacular place this, I will say straight off the bat, and my camera is probably not going to do this place justice. But, um, this is just an absolute gift to me this weekend. Absolute stunning ancient woodland, and I am going to show you now uh, the setups we've all brought for this weekend's camp. So, first one is Brandon's. Give us a second wave again, Brandon, because this is the first time we've done this, isn't it? <laughs> so, Brandon has brought the MCDD 3x3, um, 3x3 and a half actually, MC tap there and he's also in the front line DD hammock with the under blanket, sewn in bug net because we have experienced the midges already. So a nice, uh, nice set up there. We are expecting a bit of rain tonight and Andy, give us a wave Andy. <laughs> This is Andy's setup. Andy's gone with the same sort of tap. Is this the three by three and a half? Yeah. Three and a half by three and a half. Yeah, yeah. Three and a half by three and a half. So we've got all three, all three tap flavors from DD on this tarp, on this uh, camp. And that's the jungle hammock. And we have got the jungle hammock with the. I've not put the under blanket on. That's the um, active TV bag. Yeah, active sleeping bag. Oh, I've just got two. I've just picked another one of them up, and his um, first time testing the whoopee slings, the whoopee sling system from DD. But um, another hammock set up there. Andy is uh, busy carving a table, as we can see. Camp craft has already started at camp. And this fire's already going there. Andy is treating us to a spit roast chicken in a bit. Not just a spit roast, spit roast chicken. <laughs> and tonight, guys, I am in the Dutch Army tent under the DD 4x4. Funny thing is, we've just been laughing. No one even spoke about what gear each other were taking. We've all turned up with MC tarps <laughs> and camo setup, so quite funny. Olive oil as well. See, if I were doing this at home, I'd be so tempted for the sand that's got grinder. <laughs> God, I've got, I've got sandpaper in my bag. You need it for when you're finishing yeah, touches. Yeah, yeah, you need it for finishing touches, don't you? This one identifies as a spoon, but really it's a non binary twig. It's a tempe. <laughs> <laughs> Sporting one of GT's knives there, fantastic quality, brilliant. And this is a uh, the table that Brandon is using for the weekend. That was a cool little pomoly uh, table. That I might look at one of them myself. Andy's also just been on a mission and come back with the this little skull. I'm guessing it's some sort of bird skull. Uh, could be wrong. If you do know, let me know down in the comments.
Do I put some salt and pepper or something in it? Yeah, can do it. Yeah, put some, some seasoning yeah. in it. I've got Spice some. Rock. Yeah. Some of this would be nice sprinkled on that actually as well. Yeah, put it on while it's spinning. What I'll do is I'm going to get that piece of wood, use that as a table, put some tin foil on it, put the chicken on that piece of wood, yeah. cut it up, throw it in pan, Perfect. and then... Hey, check this out guys. Andy has been extremely kind and he's cooking our tea tonight. We're on a lovely chicken stew, so we're just about to quarter the chicken, going medieval style with the uh, hand hatchet, so here we go. Go for it. That is absolutely done to a T. It's right through the sternum. Yeah, man. Yeah. He's at me. Chicken fat all over. I'm going to smell absolutely delicious. There we go, butterfly chicken. <sighs> Guys, look what I've just like snatched off the chicken and ran off. No one can find me. Only kidding. Good at. Bit roast chicken outdoors can't beat it. Awesome. And ladies and gents, dinner is served. A lovely chicken stew, courtesy of Andy. Look at that. Bit of a wild garlic garnish on top. Right, I'm going to enjoy this, and then me and Brandon are going to present our magical spoon making skills. Um, I was definitely straight away making a spoon for coffee, coffee scoop. Want that, Brandon, want that. It was never going to be a spoon, it's a coffee scoop. Shovel. Yeah, shovel, coffee shovel. There's a cup just right. Still a bit of a crunch to the thick carrots, but mm. even so it's still nice. I like them right. That is absolutely delightful. Now then, ladies and gents, tea was amazing. We are off on a Brandon, just been playing golf. Look <laughs> 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 at this guys, like some out of a bleeding fairy tale. That wild garlic, ramsons, every corner you turn. Let me get in here. Guys, this is absolutely phenomenal. Check out this bluebell field. I'm trying not to trample, but you have got to see that. Wow. That is absolutely beautiful. This camera does not do that justice, but I think this lens might give you a better idea. The secret garden, ladies and gents. Look at this. It's like purple overload. Put the hammer up in here. Absolutely spectacular. hammocking amongst the bluebells. Now unfortunately Andy has brought me down here to see the badgers. Um, he's took me the way he usually gains access to this area and the full side is uh, slidden to the river so 
we've managed to scramble up and over and this is what we have been greeted with. This is ridiculous, you've got absolute fields of bluebells here and just on this side here oh, a, field full of a field full of bleeding wild garlic. wild garlic, let's go and have a look at that. So right on the stone wall there in the middle we've got all the bluebells to the right and all the wild garlic to the left absolutely amazing and someone's been doing some digging very old jar here just left for us to find crushing it's like an old lid that amazing Bloody hell guys, a couple of you who have followed the channel for a good while now may recognise this place. I think we only shot one video here. It's where uh, I nearly fell off my chair. Bloody hell. That's a... Uh, oh, got a bottle of water. It's unfortunate. Bag of crap, yeah. At least it's bagged, at least. Bloody hell. The fire pit's still there as well. And that's the uh, meadow on the other side. We've heard absolutely loads of muck jack day today. Unfortunately, um, not yet yeah, seen yeah, any. It? I remember last time being here. Yeah, I weren't with you, it was just you and Andy, weren't it? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, there were a couple of guys camping in this area. They've been for a walk. And they come back with the biggest set of antlers. I'd seen lucky sods. Um, yeah, stunning place, absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, um, I can't disclose the uh, area and location, nor am I going to. So, <laughs> but there will be uh, plenty of videos filmed here in the future. Andy having a tidy up here. Oh, taking some firewood back. Yeah, well, we have not one now. Oh, one last quick look just before we head back. Amazing. See you blue. Oh no, yeah. <laughs> we brought some uh, freebie too. <laughs> right, ladies and gents. While the lads are processing up some firewood, keeping that fire going, um, I'm going to give you a quick update on how the camp is going so far. As you can probably hear, it has just started raining. Um, you can hear that on the tarp. And I must say, I'm having an absolutely fantastic time so far. Um, Andy has just spoilt my eyes. Going seeing that sea of bluebells and wild ramson. Absolutely amazing place. And it was worth the scramble up the side of the river to get to there. So plans for the rest of the night. I think we're going to start drinking very soon. We were going to go play with the air rifles, but uh, as you can hear, it is raining. So that will probably be one of tomorrow's activities. Uh, me and... Brandon, I finished our spectacular spoon carving activities today and we have both got something to present to you guys so we'll do that as soon as the rain stops but it is nice just to be sat under the tarp listening to that rain at the minute so Right guys and girls, so you would have seen at the beginning of the video, we did take part in a bit of a carving. What we were carving at the time, we totally knew, and I wanted to do a coffee scooping um, scoop for me coffee pouches. <laughs> Check that guys, yeah. I on it honestly didn't start off as like a six foot spoon. This is the size I intended. And, come on Brandon, I check out Brandon's work, work of art here. My very first Look at spoon. that, his very first spoon. Uh, Take it closer, let's it's have a look. A spoon. <laughs> Let him admire that spoon. It's not focusing. Yeah, there we go. And he's going to have that spoon with his porridge, or he's going to eat that. He's going, going to, to eat, eat that porridge, porridge with, with that spoon, spoon in the morning. <laughs> yes. So there we go. Bang them both together. Look at that. That is a day's graft. Well spent. Proud of them, aren't we? Yeah, we are. And exactly what we intended. Yeah. Like a hand come up and grab all the dead uses, like 
tried to pull it. They are, um, really, I've really enjoyed using that today. Yeah, I've enjoyed every, fucking, like. every minute of my life. Yeah, I like one. It went yeah, off yeah, balance, yeah. it it'd drag you with, with the bag. That's a bit like that, a long back army bird, and I've got Try you shot the wrong way. <laughs> And ladies and gents, that wraps up this segment of the video. It is now bedtime. It has been a real eventful day here at camp. Um, I really enjoy spending time with the two lads. But now it is time for some shut eye and breakfast in the morning. So I will see you then. Na night. -night. Morning guys and girls, welcome back to the channel. So, last night was very very warm, very very peaceful, had a good kit, and today's a new day so, I think first port of call is a nice hot pot of coffee, so let's crack on with that, and then breakfast. Excuse me for the morning guys, <laughs> guys, see you soon. Good morning once again ladies and gents, so coffee time. We have had lots of rain, heavy at points overnight, and it has saturated the camp. Although we did have a nice dry day yesterday, so it's not a total loss. So for coffee, I'm using the Dave Canterbury stainless steel coffee press. Bit of a tight fit in there. And today, guys, I get to use my Bushcraft coffee scoop we made yesterday, so absolutely fantastic. Oh, hi. Morning Brandon, how are we doing? Morning, not too bad. Good, good. You have a good night's kit? Good night's set. Yeah. Woke up a few times, listened to the rain, but... Yeah, you told me you got heavy last night, didn't you? Yeah, I did get heavy. I was well gone. I heard it, struggled getting off with it on the tarp, but after that I was gone. Not too bad. I started dreaming of my coffee scoop. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out, guys. Fantastic little table. I might, I might have to get one myself, because that is handy, very handy. I've been using the... Uh, Winnerwell titanium fast fold stove is my table and grill, but um, there's no wood for today. I'm gonna have to get out and procure some in a bit. But it's absolutely saturated, isn't it? It's been raining. It is. It is. Still good times to be had. Still got plenty of JD. Um, that'll be tonight's festivities. And then didn't we mention dancing naked around the campfire? <laughs> yeah, we can mention that was that. his idea, not mine. <laughs> I believe you made a spoon yesterday, Brandon. <laughs> I think you needed to save that last scoop for your spoon. There is literally one last scoop. Let's there hide that go. one. Let's hide that. I spy it. I spy it right in the side of your pocket there. The very last spoon. Oh, look at that. Of the porridge. Present it through the camera. That's a fine looking spoon, that is. Handcrafted <laughs> yesterday. Mm. Don't it taste better on a wooden spoon, you see? Especially a handmade by yourself. Exactly. Check that out for a bloody opinal. That is ridiculous. <laughs> Very nice. Now you know who needs one of them. That's a dirty breakfast, isn't it? Oh, wow. Toast. So the lads are on a mountain of spam, bacon eggs, 
and muffins. Lovely jubbly. Welcome back guys and girls. So we have found a very very quiet place down further in the private woodland and we're about to do some air rifle practice. Um, Andy has brought his Air Arms Pro Sport, as you can see there, very nice underlever rifle. And then we've got Bran. Bran has brought the Virac HW97K, one of my previous guns. Very nice. Is that a 2-2 that one? Yeah. It is a 2-2, yep. Yeah. And I have brought my S410 TDR. <coughs> so that's the fun begin. Let's the fun begin. Let the fun begin. It's mad, isn't it? Right guys and girls, so that is the end of round one and I must say the lads did very well but um check this here, look at that. Eh? That's mine. What? Mine. what? Right guys and girls, so unfortunately no quarry today. There is not so much as a sign of a wood pigeon and I was hoping for a catch and cook video today. But we are going to continue having fun shooting at these targets. So we'll bring you back when we're back at camp in a little while. See you soon. Bye bye. And uh, sausage, which is what I totally intended to make. Doesn't look like a disaster at all. Stop. <laughs> Don't, it. Don't get in your eyes. I'm hoping it tastes nicer than it looks. Alright guys and girls, welcome back to the camp. So we just got back from shooting. Had a bit of a chill around the fire. Um, activities today have consisted of, I went and did a bit of day stalking a bit earlier on, sat there for over an hour and a half and not a single day like a right pillock with a net over my head as well but yeah. <laughs> so we're enjoying now tea for the last past time then I'm probably going to start packing up some gear Making it a bit easier tomorrow. Way too much salt in this. All in all, we've had a good time, haven't we? Oh, fantastic time. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. Stunning area. Great company. And uh, even better food. I'm lying about the food, that was, this is terrible. <laughs> Love your honesty. Yeah. Really, really bad. But, terrible. Mine again. So, this is yet the end of another day. The last day, in fact. But I have had an absolutely splendid time. 
at the camp with you guys, so cheers to that, thank you very much. Thank you. Got water. Has he got one? Yeah, got cheers. <laughs> yeah, it's been a great time. Had some great fun. And now it's time to uh, just get back and chill and enjoy the rest of the night until it's time to retire. And then <coughs> I've packed up some of my gear tonight. I think we all have um, just to make putting away easier tomorrow and then heading off hopefully before dinner time. Right, guys and girls, that wraps up this video. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the content, please leave a like on the video. And be sure to subscribe for more content like this in the future. I'll see you again for the next one. Until the next one, you stay safe and as always, stay crafty. See you again, guys. Bye bye. Cheers. Yeah, <laughs> done. <laughs> Too old to do. The more I burn now, the less I have to carry back tomorrow. <laughs> He's burning all his food or something.